I'm about to show you the most fun vertical jump workout that you've ever seen that's ever been made. So what it is, is this right here. And what I'm gonna do is explain it and walk you through it. And in the first link in the description of this video is where you can download this workout. But before you do that, let me at least explain it so you know what you're doing. But trust me, this is gonna be a lot of fun. It's also gonna help you work on your jump technique and it's also gonna get you really bouncy without, if you, if you don't wanna work out, bro, and you think, workouts are boring, then this is the solution. Go do this right now. So this is the most fun and effective vertical jump workout ever. I literally made this specifically to be super effective, but literally the most fun I could make it. So the only requirement, bro, is that you have a low rim. You actually don't even need that. You could literally do this on like a mini hoop in your, in your room. You could literally do it outside with no hoop, but ideally, or on a 10 foot rim, um, you could do it and just, even if you can't dunk yet, you could just miss the dunks and pretend like, you know, just practice. But ideally, obviously, you want to be putting dunks down and practicing this on a genuine low rim so you can actually get the entire feel of a dunk. If you don't have that, still try it. If you do have a low rim, bro, you got to go try this right now. So set it to whatever, whatever height is best for you. Literally could be seven feet, six feet, seven and a half, eight feet, eight and a half, nine feet, nine and a half, ten feet, whatever it is, do this workout. So this is what it is. You have to go in order. One, two, three, four, five. You got to start with one, bro. If you, ha if you haven't watched my videos, then you should because you should understand what these are. These are the jump techniques, the jump plants. There's only four jump techniques or jump plants. Only four. You are one of these four. Your dominant plant is the way you jump the easiest, the highest, and the most comfortable. And some people jump really high off two different plants, like for example, left, right, and left foot. But a lot of people only jump well off one, and that's probably the most common thing. So once again, you are one of these four as far as your dominant plant, but you need to work on all four of them for one in order to make your dominant plant better. And secondly, literally just to become a more balanced overall jumper, have more balanced muscles and not end up having knee pain or a bunch of things that's going to suck later on, bro. So make sure you know which one of these is your dominant plant. But for this workout, you're going to be doing all four equally. And that's the point. So when you start with number one, you're going to do a right, left, one hand off a lob, a left, right, one hand off a lob, a left foot, one hand off a lob, a right foot, one hand off a lob. And then you're going to do it over again five times until you get five makes in each. Only once you complete this, can you go to number two. So once again, five makes right, left, two hand with the dribble, five makes left, right, two hand with the dribble, five makes left foot, two hand with the dribble, five makes right foot, two hand with the dribble. So you see the order of these now and you don't get to move down until you complete each one. So they get a little bit harder and harder each time. So, and they're, they're also chosen for a reason. Windmill with the dribble, two hand with the dribble is the most consistent dunking game. One hand with the lob is a sick dunk that's super easy. People think it's harder. Between the legs with the lob is, in my opinion, the easiest way to do between the legs. And then behind the back with the dribble is a great thing to practice. So once you do two hand, you're going to go all five. And then you're going to go windmill with the dribble. You're going to complete all of these. That's 20 makes each. And then these last two are only... Uh, what is that, 12? Yes, 12 makes each. It's a little bit less, two makes less per jump plant because they're a little bit harder. You have to get all of these down and then that's the workout, bro. One, two, three, four, five in order. And then once you complete that, bro, you will literally be done. That's your workout. You're gonna feel tired. You're gonna have work on your jump technique. You're gonna work on actually the, the motions of doing crazy dunks like between the legs and behind the back or windmills. And you're gonna feel more confident, bro, just putting dunks down. It's a great workout. So it also, when you go download this, if you don't know what the jump techniques are, as I explained to you, and if you don't know how to find your dominant jump plant, just click here, bro. It'll take you to a video where I explain that very clearly. Um, and also, this can be done literally daily, bro. You can do this workout every single day, but just monitor your knee pain. Like, don't do this if your knees are hurting, but I was dunking every day when I was a kid. I loved it, and it was what I like to do, and I saw a lot of vertical increase by doing that. So do it every single day you can, but always watch your body and take care of your body at the end of the day. Go try this out, bro. I'm telling you, and come back and let me know how it felt afterwards. And let me know if you got any vertical increases off it in the next few days after you do it. And bro, I'm telling y'all, y'all gotta believe, jump technique is a hack. You will always be able to rely on your jump technique and dunk for years and years to come. So subscribe for daily videos about dunking. I'm literally posting every single day how y'all can hack dunking, start dunking, and never stop. So I'll see y'all later.